Marshall Ferguson here with your preview of the 2023 Calgary Stampeders. The last time we saw the Stamps on field, they finished third in the West Division, had a road playoff game in BC that they ended up losing against the Lions. And of course, the big story was the handing of the keys from Bo Levi Mitchell to quarterback Jake Mayer, who comes into this season as the undisputed starter going into the year and beyond for Calgary. Ironically, the playoff game in BC ended with the final Stamps throws of Bo's career. That is the biggest change, but there have been some other moves in the organization. Of course, you've got Falarno Rimalade leaving for big money and free agency to the Toronto Argonauts. He was replaced by Julian Hauser, who came in from the Hamilton Tiger Cats. You also have Micah Awe coming in to play middle linebacker. That's because Jameer Thurman ended up heading to Hamilton as well. So the defense, a couple of major moving pieces, but they do have a lot of sustainability and consistency on the back end. My question for the Calgary Stampeders of 2023 is how quickly can they figure out three things? Number one, a consistent and productive Canadian pass catcher. Jalen Philpott down with injury to begin the season. They drafted Cole Tucker fourth overall out of Northern Illinois. They also have names like Luther Hockenavanu, Colt Hunchak on the roster, amongst others. How quickly will they be able to get production out of one or a variety of those players to support? The second, how quickly will Jake Mayer figure out who his favorite targets are? When Bo Levi Mitchell was at his very best, he was leaning all the time on a couple of names here and there within the organization over a 10-year run. And the last question, how quickly can you establish Kadeem Carey and the dominant Stampeders running game? Which team will lead the CFL in rushing yards this year? I think it should be the Calgary Stampeders. If you want to have your say, you can go to the all-new Refresh CFL Game Zone and have your say on whether or not the Stamps will lead the CFL in rushing yards this season. You could win yourself $5,000 in cash.